In this video, I will be demonstrating how to model overhead cooling in a data center. Like most videos, my first step is to right click and select Edit Room. We see that our room layout is set to raised floor. We want to switch this to non raised floor and have a room supply. Next, we drag a crack into the room. Notice it defaults to a front flow model, which is what we want for this data center. However, we still want to edit its dimensions. I go to the Geometry tab in the Editor dialog and make the crack a 2 foot cube. The crack is going to be in line with ductwork later, so a 2 foot by 2 foot area matches nicely with ductwork in a data center. We next set the start height to 8 feet, which is the highest this data center will allow for. We next modify the cross-sectional area of the supply and return on the crack using the Auto Distribute button. Now we are ready to start building the ductwork, which will go on each side of the crack. I drag a duct into the room and then right click and select edit duct. Next I change the axes to the Z axes in order to line up with our crack. I'm going to change the length of our duct 8 feet in order to better suit our needs. Next I'm going to align our duct and crack by having each start at the same position on the X axis. Notice both are set to start at 12.5 feet in the X direction. Next I change the position of the duct to be closer to our crack. I'm going to use a connecting duct in order to connect the duct we have here with our crack. So we want to bring the duct close but not have it touch our crack. Now I'm going to use the cloning tool to make a copy of this duct in order to have one on the other side of the crack. Again, I change the position of the duct to bring it close to the crack, but still leave a small gap. I quickly confirm that our duct starts at y equals 8 feet. As we can see, our ducts and crack are in a good position and ready to be connected using connecting ducts. Next, I left click the surface which I want to add a duct on and then right click and select add duct. Now we are ready to start building our connecting duct. The first step is to always make the subduct shorter than what's needed. As you can see here, a length of 2 feet is too long because it is cutting into the geometry of the crack. This is very problematic. As you can see, I decided to use a length of 0.2 feet. The next step is to just select the connecting duct box, and now our duct system is connected to the crack. I go ahead and go through the same process on the other side as well. Next, I drag a rack row into the room. I 
I right click and select edit rack row in order to change the flow direction of the rack. Now I'm ready to add diffusers to the ducts. I left click on a spot on the duct where I want the diffuser and then right click and select add diffuser. I changed the diffuser's dimensions to my personal preference. Next, I do the same thing on the other duct. Now our model is done and we are ready to submit for simulation. As you can see, the model ran successfully and we have results. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you.